Hi, I'm Dr. Francesca Zampollo and this is my food design target. In this video, I want to give you a food design tool that can help guide your design process. I call this the food design target. This diagram is a categorization of the aspects that food designers should take into account in their food design process, regardless of whether they're designing a product, a service, an event, or a dish. This can help you understand all the aspects that are part of an eating situation and that influence the eating experience. At the center of the eating situation, there is, surprise, surprise, the person. The aspect with which we interact with all our senses, not just two or three, but all of them, is the food itself. Food is the only material designers design with that triggers all senses. We don't buy a chair, we don't lick a woolly jumper, but food, we see it, we hear it, we touch it, we smell it, and yes, we taste it. So in that sense, we can consider food the closest aspect to us. So it is the first circle surrounding the person. The strong relationship between the person and the food is inevitable. It is the ultimate point of interest of any food design project. We should consider that in all its details and of course design for it. But the relationship between the person and the food is not the only thing we should consider when designing food. Food is immediately physically linked to the vessel, the container on which food comes. I call it vessel because calling it plate or packaging is not accurate anymore. A plate is one type of vessel, but the vessel is also any type of device on which food is contained or served. When we talk about serving vessels, we see that today food can be served on the wall, can come from the floor, or can be walking around you. Anyway, the vessel is always in physical contact with the food. So there is a very strong relationship between these two, which we must consider, acknowledge, and design. The shape and function of one can influence the shape and function of the other. The vessel, food, and the person are always immersed in a space. The environment where this interaction between vessel, food, and person takes place. Finally, in the eating situation, there is always a human interaction of some type. I can interact with my companion, the person with whom I'm eating. I can interact with the service staff, those who serve or sell me the food. And I can interact with the others, the people eating around me. All of these people do influence my eating experience because people eating around me can change the atmosphere. They can be very loud. There can be a lot of kids. A waiter's smile or lack of such changes how I feel during the eating situation. And whether I'm alone or on a first date with somebody I really, really like, or with a lousy friend who constantly complains about his life, all of this does indeed change my eating experience. This type of information, by the way, can be found by looking for food psychology or food sociology studies. The reason why the interaction circle is the very last outside is because I can design any aspect inside, space, vessel or food to purposefully change the dynamics between the person and the companion, the others or the service staff. Take, for example, the duvet restaurant, where you eat laying on beds instead of sitting on chairs and tables. That space influences your interaction with your companion, for sure. Mariah Vogelsang half plates in her Christmas dinner, two half plates with the same food on one side of the table, and two with a different food on the other side of the table. Guests had to swap half of their plate in order to have the complete dish. This vessel changed the interaction between the person and the others eating around. And the spaghetti in Lady and the Trump, a food clearly designed to get people to kiss. That food was purposefully designed to change the interaction between the person and the companion. So, my argument is that food designers should consider and design for all these aspects. Remember, though, that all these aspects, all the things you design, should be cohesive, as to create an emotional experience where all the senses are stimulated through many different cohesive layers of interaction.